of beautiful souls it's Karen here so magic inspirations and I'm here with a twin flame soulmate reading and this is why no contact from your divine masculine and when might they contact you so this is for those in separation no contact I'm doing a collective read on this energy okay so take what resonates for you I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support I really appreciate that check out my offers on readings check out my patreon and check out my deck shop okay all the links are in my contact details okay so let's have a look at who this masculine might be so this is one of my decks la Homme, the divine masculine so we've got passionate has fire desires lustful so could be a fire sign for some of you aries leo sagittarius somebody that's very passionate somebody that has you know a lot of sensual sexual desire they're a very passionate person and handsome good looking someone that a lot of men find attractive charming could be a smooth talker you know it does feel like very much like play energy maybe they were in a play energy when you met them they're playful fun like to laugh so they're in good humor they're somebody that likes to have fun likes to be playful artistic someone creative Paints, draws, writes, composes songs. So somebody in touch with their creativity. Somebody, maybe they do this for a living or this is a hobby. They they have some sort of creative pursuit. Okay, so they have tapped into that creative aspect of themselves. And we've got logical. Thinks a lot, uses logic, not feelings. So yeah, somebody that has the balance up between, between the, the heart and the head. Um, but somebody maybe that does overthink things. Maybe somebody disconnected from their heart space, somebody that wasn't in touch with their feelings. So let's have a look at the energies. So why no contact? So we've got the tower, we've got ambition, education, going within the spiritual growth. So I feel this person was more focused on their career, their finances, their ambitions in life, their education. I don't feel they were ready for a relationship um, when you were with them. And they've had to do a lot of spiritual growth. I feel this connection triggered a lot of spiritual growth in this person. And mountain, facing obstacles, challenges to rise and evolve. So yeah, they've had lots of challenges and obstacles. And I feel this is for you, for the masculine and the feminine. There's been a lot of obstacles and challenges in their life that they've had to do alone, that they've had to overcome alone. And we've got the mask, projecting emotions, hiding or hiding them so somebody that wasn't being authentic with you somebody that was hiding behind a mask and again this could be mutual energy so take what resonates but somebody that didn't show you their authentic self they could have been in denial about their feelings for you they were not in touch with their own emotions um and i feel again they had to be alone to let go of the mask to really get in touch with who they are to get in touch with themselves and we've got feminine energy so i feel that they're very much thinking of the feminine even though you're in separation no contact i feel they're very much thinking of you um really missing you um but also maybe getting more in touch with their feminine side get more in touch with their emotions and we've got the moon energy so yes the moon is the feminine aspect so going deep going within getting in touch with their feelings and we've got intuition, psychic abilities, imagination, creativity, admiration and achievement, love and romance. So I do feel they've had to tap into this side, the, the feminine side, the dark, dark shadow aspect of themselves to really connect with their own abilities, their own intuition and to realise the depth of their feelings here. And I feel when you knew them, they were not in touch with that at all. And we've got the bear energy, powerful, strong and protective. This is how they want to appear to you. And I feel they had self-esteem issues. They didn't feel strong. They didn't feel good about themselves in some way. They, they felt lacking in some way. They didn't feel that they could be your protector. They didn't feel they could were powerful and strong enough. They didn't feel they were, uh, you know, deserving of somebody like you is what I'm picking up. They had self-esteem issues. And we've got the key, synchronous, synchronicity, signs and fate. So I feel that they've come into um, awareness 
that you are each other's key. Um, you held the key to unlocking these feelings within them. And they do feel that it was a destined fated meeting with you. And we've got dog, best friend, loyal, loving and devoted. Yeah, they really wanted to show this side of them, you to them, to, to you, sorry. But they maybe they didn't and they want to come forward and show you that they can be a friend. They can be loyal, loving and devoted. And again, they were not in that energy, I feel, when you met them. So again, they've been working on this. And the rider, fast news traveling towards you so for some you know we've got number one they do want a new beginning here um but they're working on getting into that right energy to be in the right place to feel prote strong protected to be in good self-esteem to feel worthy and once they do this they do want to come towards you whether it be messages or in person and we've got letter here so thoughtful contemplative communication so they do want to communicate with you they do want to let you know their feelings and it could be through email it could be an actual letter could be a text i do feel there will be a reaching out and we've got book they want to be an open book they want to share themselves they want to be intimate they want to reveal their true feelings to you they want to come clean with how they're really feeling so we've got love language Social media texts, of course. So they definitely want to express themselves to you of how they're really feeling about you. And so expect this to come forward. And we've got tree here to stay and grow, sacred soul connection. So they do feel this soul connection with you and they want to grow with you. They want to build a foundation with you. And for a lot of you, they resonate as the twin flame. You mirror each other for growth and healing or soulmate. They do feel this soul connection in some way. They do feel that... You know, you help each other in some way. You mirror each other's, um, you know, good and bad aspects for growth and healing. So really, really powerful energies here. So we've got sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So I feel for a lot of you, they've had their eye on you, even though you've been in separation, no contact. I feel they've been watching you from afar, looking from afar, trying to find out where you're at, trying to find what you're up to maybe. And we've got coffin, endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. So there could have been um, a literal death here. Okay, you could have had death in the family. They could have had a death in the family. Um, but it, Or it could just mean a literal ending of a cycle. They want to, you know, start having a new beginning, as I said. They've been going through a period of growth. I feel you both have. And they want to change. They want to, you know, reconnect with you. And they want to make healthier choices. So I feel there could have been addiction issues. There could have been very negative patterns of behaviour. We've got self-love, self-care, being happier. So I feel that they're really stepping into this with their own well-being. You know, get, stepping into that self-love, self-care, which is, you know, I feel which the feminine is doing as well. And really taking much better care of themselves because they're in that self-love energy. And, you know, once they feel better about themselves, they, they feel ready to come forward. And I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. So they want to date you, they want to come, you know, they want to come towards you and express how they really feel, that they do like you, but obviously it's it's more than like. And yeah, we've got Cupid's Arrow. Her faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or a meeting, hesitation. So yeah, I feel that they've been struck by Cupid's Arrow. They've had this awareness, this awakening around this connection. And they've got heart with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. So, you know, we saw that earlier, the key here. So they definitely feel you have the key to their heart and vice versa. You are the one, you've helped open their heart in some way and they want to get together with you. They want to express this to you. So we've got temptation. So this is talking about why no contact. So I feel that they... This, for some of you, not all of you, but for some, the, the person you were connected with, they were dating around. They were tempted by others. There was, they could have been just in that player energy, as I said. They were dating around. There was many temptations, and they didn't want to settle at that time to one person. They keeping their options open. You know that saying: the grass is always greener. And yes, they they had choices. They they didn't know what to choose. You know they they 
were like in that Seven of Cups energy, which can be a confusion. They had too many choices. They didn't know what to choose for themselves. So they were, you know, not connecting with anyone. They were just dating around. And Femme Fatale, I feel that they may have saw you in that energy. Um, somebody that was tempting to them, like a lot of the other people were. Um, it felt like, you know, initially they felt like it was just a lustful connection. You just maybe had that connection, um, you know, sexually, essentially, but they didn't think any more of it at that time. But, and also they thought you were too different. We got opposites of track, though. You could have been from very different backgrounds, very different countries, different ethnicities, um, saw the world very differently. But there was a link between you, this telepathic link, and I feel... Despite the time apart and the separation, that link is still there and they're realising that. And yeah, they had to grieve this. Um, lost love, grief, they had to grieve this. Sometimes we only know what some somebody means to us when we lose them. And I feel it had to get to that point on both sides. So they've been grieving the, the loss of this connection, the loss of you, because nobody made them feel the way that you did. And there's trust issues there. We've got deep connection trust. So... There's trust issues, I feel, on both sides. I feel that you both lack trust with people in love relationships. And again, it's it's relearning that. And it starts with ourselves, learning to trust ourselves. And then rebuilding that trust. And I feel they want to rebuild that trust with you. And they want forgiveness. They want you to forgive them. And we need to forgive ourselves as well. So I feel they're working on that. And they want this fresh start. They want a new beginning. They want to date you. They want to take you out on dates here, if you resonate with that. So let's have a look. When might they contact you? So let's have a look. What else will the tarot want to say? What does the tarot want to say about this? Will they contact? Will the Divine Masculine contact their Divine Feminine? Here we've got five of coins reversed. So the five of coins upright is feeling left out in the cold. So they're really missing you. Okay, they want to put an end to it. That's what I'm getting there. They do want to put an end to it. Yeah, page of swords. Confirming again, I feel they've been keeping an eye on you. Uh, and they want to come forward with their truth here. Yeah. They want to come forward with their truth. They want to speak their truth to you about how they're really feeling. Yeah, the hermit reversed as well. So I feel that they've been in hermit mode. I feel they've been doing that in the work. They've got that enlightenment. And they want to put an end to being alone. They want to come out of that hermit mode. And they see you as a queen of cups, whether you're a water sign or not. They see you as somebody very loving, very nurturing, very, um, you know, really in touch with your feelings, with love to offer. And maybe you, some of you did declare your feelings for this person. And they're now acknowledging that. They're now seeing the truth of this, that you are being honest, that you are being genuine with them. So will they get back in touch? Yeah, we've got three of wands. So to me, that's always about divine timing. They're waiting for the right time to make a move. Yeah, we've got nine of swords reversed. So I feel that they've been through this pain, this anxiety, this worry, depression, and they're coming out of feeling that way, okay? Because they were in... A bad place, a lack of self-esteem, a lack of self-worth, a lack of self-love, and not in a good place. And they're coming out of that. Yeah, they want a brand new beginning. They still have passion and desire for you. They want to take a leap of faith with the fall. They want a new chapter with the world. They want a whole new chapter. And they want to bring the sun back in. They want to have that happiness and joy. And they want to take you out and celebrate and have a good time. And they see you as an empress. And you're both single right now. You're both in that single energy. You're not needy. You're not codependent at all. So, yeah, they definitely do want to make a move. So let's get some timings. Let's get some timings. So this is obviously very general. Okay, so we get some timings, but obviously it's not set in stone. So when might the Divine Masculine come forward? Well, we've got September for some of you. So not that far away. 
we've got May, so we've had May already. Okay. Um, I don't think it's next May. Okay. I feel it. It could be coming soon. Um, that could mean soon. And we've got winter energy there as well. And it says in a few weeks, say yes to new adventures. So give this person a chance. You know, hear this person out. See what they have to say. But obviously, we all have free will here. So I'm going to leave it there. Beautiful messages. Love and blessings. Take care.